This is a continuation of the previous video, where the theory behind cold welding, of the ID fan shaft was discussed. Here I will explain how I weld my work on site in this video. A full video of the cold welding process, for a ID fan shaft. Problem Analysis The shaft was worn out under the bearing. This video shows the cold welding process, for the ID fan shaft from inside the site. First, install the manufactured bushing so that its inner diameter, is equal to the diameter of the shaft to be repaired. The inner diameter of the sleeve must be coated, with a substance to prevent the welding material from adhering to it. The welding is not affected, when the sleeve is removed from the shaft. In the second step, is to preparing, and inject the cold welding material. After the sleeve is installed on the fan shaft, Preparation of cold welding material begins. This is the process of mixing the welding material with the hardener. Once the mixture is homogeneous, it is ready for welding. After the sleeve is installed on the fan shaft, preparation of cold welding material begins. This is the process of mixing the welding material with the hardener. Once the mixture is homogeneous, it is ready for welding.
We emphasize again the importance of mixing the welding material with the hardener well, until the final mixture is homogeneous. We fill the welding material mixture, into the caulking gun with air, after we have completed the fine mixing process, and obtained a homogeneous mixture. The step of injecting the welding material, after the completion of good mixing. After injection of the welding mixture into the bushing, through the holes on the bushing, as we can see, one screw is loosened. Until welding material is released, the hole is closed with the screw. And another hole is loosened until all screws are completed. As you will see in the video. Once the injection process is complete, it must be ensured that all screws in the bushing body are well closed. The bushing body is well cleaned from the outside of the welding material. The welding is left for a period of not less than 24 hours. 
or according to the manufacturer's recommendations, for the welding material. Let's continue watching the video, see these steps. The third step is the process of removing the bushing and sanding the shaft to obtain the required shaft diameter. After sanding the shaft and obtaining the required shaft diameter, the shaft size is checked with micrometers to ensure the shaft diameter is accurate. This picture, after the shaft sanding process has been completed. In the end, the checking is done on the dimensions. Thank you for showing interest. With family greetings everything about the cement industry. I hope for your support by subscribing to the YouTube channel.